Hello and welcome to Christchurch International Airport, everybody. It's uh, located on the east coast of the South Island in New Zealand and it's the latest ProLine Plus release by the team over there at NZA Simulations. Today, I'm going to show you five key features of this new add-on. And before we do that, though, let's take a look at a bit of a comparison between the default scenery and uh, the add-on here by NZA Simulations. <laughs> is the real-to-life runways, aprons, and surrounding areas. You've got the high-quality textures, which you can see right here in front of you as I pan across the airport. And as I just move across to the apron, you can see all the lines, all the proper parking spaces, etc., all identified. And uh, you've got that sort of uh, mixed-up runway and apron texture just to bring it a little bit more to life and uh, in line with what you're likely to see here in Christchurch itself. Uh, good to see all the little marks there made by uh, wear and tear by the aircraft as they taxi around the airport. While we talk about road markings, they've actually gone ahead and put real-to-life road markings out in the surrounding areas also. This is exactly what you're going to see as you pull your car into the drop-off and pick-up point or if you're going to park your car in the parking building. With all the arrows, all the directional markings just to let you know exactly what you should be doing and that's continued right down the surrounding areas into the roundabout here uh, the proper road markings on the exit road as you depart the airport and move out into the larger or wider I should say Christchurch area. They've included all the right runways here we've got runway 29 it's a cross runway used quite often uh, particularly in summer where you get the big uh, northwesterly breeze coming through there and as we pan across the airport, we've got the major runway 0220 running uh, left to right there. And further across to the other end of the airport, we've actually got the Canterbury Aero Club there in the background, that yellow building. And we've got 02, a parallel runway with the main runway here. It's a little grass runway uh, where a lot of flight training and GA activity happens here at the airport. So they've got everything true to life, uh, as you can expect to see at NZCH. The second key feature I want to cover off are the custom sounds in and around the airport. Show you a couple here. The first one is the uh, the jetway. So if I go ahead and toggle that. And if we move inside the terminal, you can hear all the ambient sounds, people talking, announcements, etc. Let's take a look at those right now. So the thing I've noticed with these announcements that we've just heard, uh, are depending on which part of the airport you're in, they seem to change. So uh, you're at the eastern part of the airport or the southern part of the airport, they'll have different announcements depending on your location, which is a great little feature, I think. Okay, before we get into the next key feature, there's something that I do not like about the scenery. Here I am in the Coro Club, which is like the members' lounge. And let's go and take a close look at the beer fridge. 4X? What the heck is going on here, fellas? We do not have 4X in a New Zealand beer fridge. We want to see something like a good Emerson's Pilsner or something similar. But uh, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Maybe it's a bit of a practical joke, not too sure. But anyway, let's move on to the next key feature. Now they've gone ahead and put in over 300 surrounding buildings and uh, some of these are pretty awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the US Air Force actually operate out of here. Uh, down to Antarctica, and it looks like we've got a, um, a Hercules right there, C-130. 
And here goes the United States Antarctic program. Uh, you can see these aircraft from the roadway, actually, when you drive past. Uh, the highlight being one of these big C-17s. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. A lot of really, well, uh, these buildings around here are exactly uh, true to life, what you'll see when you're out and about. Let me go and find a couple more. Wouldn't be a New Zealand piece of scenery without some a KFC building. Good old McDonald's there too, as you drive in and out of the uh, road coming into the airport. Just over here is a little bit of a shopping centre. You've got Teppanyaki. Lone Star Restaurant, huge servings by the way. Good way to uh, kill your hunger. And over here we've got the good old Subway. Uh, burger fuel, by the way, that's uh, a sort of gourmet type burgers. Really good, really good stuff. Mexicali, Mexican restaurant, Indian, all that sort of stuff. Anytime Fitness, why the heck would you want to go in there? Nothing against Anytime, just mainly the fitness bit, Sushi, Unichem. And then one of the largest supermarket chains in New Zealand, Countdown. So this is exactly what you see as you drive uh, into, the, into the airport and the surrounds. And they've done a really great job. If you have a good look around, I'm not going to show you all of them, obviously there's too many, but you have a good look around and all the branding and the uh, companies that, uh, that actually work in and around the airport are, are represented here. So once again, a really nice job by the team. The fourth key feature are the animations that are in and around the airport, both inside and outside the terminal. And uh, we've got right here the rotating primary airport surveillance radar. Uh, it really gives all these different things happening in the airport, really make it feel busy. In the background, you can hear the aircraft landing taking off. You've got the internal sounds and stuff like that. And these animations really do add to that immersion. Now, you'll see AI walking around the terminal, which uh, once again makes it feel quite busy and alive. But there's a lot of little small animations that you see uh, that really do add to the immersion. There's a guy walking in the background there. I've seen that guy walk around a bit, actually. I think he might be lost. But look at this. Just in front of me, this guy just looking around, moving his hands a little bit, tapping his feet. And uh, that subtle piece of movement just, it really does make it feel like it's quite genuine in terms of the, uh, of the immersion. One other subtle piece of animation out here at the Sedima Hotel. It's just on the edge of the airport. And uh, this actually matches the time. Uh, it's 10.46. And you can see it says 10.46 on the clock. So a nice little subtle piece of animation. Oh, you saw it move right there. That was, uh, how about that? Great timing. But uh, that will just sync with your flight simulator time. So a really nice little touch there by the guys. Okay, the final feature that I'm going to show you. And uh, before I do that, I just encourage you, check out the link down in the description. Uh, and uh, once again, the guys have done a fantastic job. Uh, now, there's heaps of other little features and great pieces of scenery around this airport, so I haven't uh, spoiled it all. Uh, the final thing I want to show you, though, is the VGDS. This is the nose and guidance system for, you know, when you come into taxi and park your aircraft. And, of course, it's this little screen here. I'm sitting in the A320 right here. It's this little screen. So you've got a little toggle here, it's Shift V. Uh, this is actually the Aerosoft um, VGDS. It's a little separate download that you get when you pick up this piece of scenery. So what I can do is I can activate the gate that I'm in. I'm in NZCH, the airport, obviously, domestic terminal. And I'm at gate number 21. So I push that, and this should bring up some information. There we go, NZ320, uh, 2150 Zulu, and 14 degrees uh, centigrade at the moment. So really cool. Obviously, it will give you the guidance system as you come in. But once again, if I press Shift V again, the other thing you're able to do is put a flight plan in there. So... Let's say we're going to fly today to uh, YML, which is uh, Melbourne. Press confirm. And there we go. Gives you the information and uh, everything in regards to your, uh, to your flight plan there that the VGS will display. So, yeah, a really nice little addition there. And uh, once again, it's a little add-on uh, that you need to download. But it's included in the scenery, so just make sure you do that so you get access to this particular system. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Christchurch International Airport, NZCH. It's the latest ProLine Plus release by NZA Simulations, and they just continue to pump out quality scenery. The link's down in the description. Go and check it out. And uh, a big shout-out to the team over there at NZA for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. Uh, and as always, it's always fantastic to be able to get to review New Zealand scenery. Being a Kiwi, I'm a little bit biased, I admit, but uh, look, I think the scenery speaks for itself. So... Go and support the developers, check it out, uh, and thank you very much for watching the video, and until next time, everybody, take it easy.